Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Thursday, September 18, 2019. Yes, here is the 1958 Penyan Sea Liner. Save for the bow strip and the bow eye, I guess you'd call her. I, I'm reminded of an old Benny Hill joke. Uh, you'd call her naked. Uh, Anthony has removed everything we can unscrew, unbolt, and prepared her for her, the next step, which will be to lift her off her trailer, put her on boat dollies, and then I've been informed that I get the pleasure of starting with the decks, gunnels, etc and the circa 1850 stripper. And we will strip everything to bare wood as we've worked through the boat. That's the editorial we. As Anthony's worked through the boat, we are really pleased that there's, save for the bottom plank on the transom, there's precious little rot in this hull. Uh, that, that bodes well for her preservation. The two supports for the uh, pass-through uh, have been removed. Uh, they're a little split at the bottom ends, but uh, Anthony has declared that they're absolutely savable, so we will not have to replace them. The reason we put these two uh, braces in is that this, this is incredibly vulnerable on each side and it would be a natural thing for one of us to slip while working on the boat and strike this from on top, which would risk, which would risk breaking it somewhere in here. So now it's nice and solid. She doesn't seem to have a huge amount of varnish on her. She got plenty of paint. And as you can see, uh, this, Transom. Anthony, why don't you show us where you found the rot in the transom plank? Uh, right here. It's pretty rotted. Um, you can see it flexes pretty good. Uh, this right here, it's also split right here. This plank is, this bottom plank. Uh, but on both sides, this side is a little worse. Uh, that's pretty much where most of the rod is, is right there. So we'll replace both of those, and I also noted oh, this is a seam. So okay. we'll, take, we'll take this out and replace it. Um, that, the plank ends are really in great shape, and that's a, that's a real plus. Uh, th there's a pad that goes over the transom right here, so these marks aren't going to give us any trouble. Um, on the hull sides, there really hasn't been any damage. As you sight down, you see that uh, luckily nobody's taken a, an orbital sander to the uh, hull sides on this boat. Uh, another one came in and it's so sad, you, you sight down the hull sides and you might as well be on the moon. Uh, never use an orbital sander or what's called a random orbit sander to <laughs> fare any large surface. Uh, you'll get the same moonscape, no matter how good you are, no matter how quickly you can move the sander. So, on that note, we will get out the Jamestown Circa 1850 heavy bodied stripper and go at her. The next time you see her, she really will be naked because there'll be no finishes on her. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.